I've been waiting for is under compile. And here under compile you have, just like in the last one, you have a long list of options you can change, including uh, presets here for things like novel, standard manuscript format, or proof copy, things like original, a select novel. And then you new feature here, compile for, if you go down, new features is EPUB or Mobi for Kindle. So you can select EPUB, which most ebook readers support, and export it as an ebook. And you also get some extra options in. At the left, you get cover, no cover image, or you can select here a cover image. Ebook options, you can then. Uh, change more of the options such as uh, title, the footnote, end notes, ebook contains script formatting, yet you can tick that if it does, center body text of HTML table contents, generate a HTML table content, if you untick it of course it doesn't do it, tick it it does, and then compile, let's compile it to the desktop. Minimize here it is. I'm not even sure what program it's opening, but I've got a few ebook reader things on here I've been trying out. Here we are. Of course, there's not much there at the moment because we haven't rewritten really any. So basically, that should also not just be readable on the computer but also on most ebook reader physical ebook readers most do seem to support epub format but it's something you'd need to check out also if you have a kindle which a lot of people do then you can always make it as make it as a kindle format anyway by selecting kindle then you get choose Kindle Gen path to export to the Kindle format. You need to install Kindle Gen, a free tool from Amazon. To do so, follow the link below and download and install Kindle Gen to your hard drive. Once Kindle Gen is installed, click choose and tell Scrivener where it is located. I won't do that now, but basically, you go to the link, download a file, hit choose, and select that file like you do for opening, say, a project file. Very simple. And this is, I think, the feature that most people will be looking forward to the most. Also, Scrivener is finally coming soon to Windows. So anyway, that's just a very, very basic look at the new features of Scrivener 2.0. Also note that quick reference can be got to from up on the toolbar. So can compile and page view and comments. If you go to the Scrivener website at literatureandlatte.com, you can go to new features and read all about the new features. Also, video tutorials. You can watch video tutorials, an introduction to Scrivener and things about all the new features like page view. And one feature I nearly forgot to mention is if you go to full screen mode you have the usual options from the last version for the width of the page and center in left or right size of the text fade the background also new to the second version which wasn't in the first is if you hold down the option key it, this here changes from the width of the page to height see? and then you can adjust the height of the page then if you go to view full screen backdrop you can choose a backdrop image and it changes here from just plain black which you can adjust with the fade to an actual image so let's make the width smaller so you can see and there is an actual this photograph that I've selected so yeah that is Scrivener 2.0 Scrivener which is $45 so if you go to the website you can watch uh, more in-depth video tutorials and find out 
more information about the new features etc and thanks for watching this has been a review for videotechreviews.com